Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are 12 guards uh, and they are seated around a rectangular shaped concentric walls as shown in figure. So these are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to 12. Uh, now these, uh, these chairs, one person on each chair and they were facing away from the walls. So facing outside from the wall, maybe this side, this side like this, they were sitting. And uh, certain things are given that uh, how can a person see adjacent person or not. So a person seated on the corner of a wall can see the neighboring persons seated along the two neighboring walls or the neighboring corners uh, and or corners only when the neighboring side of the wall is vacant. Right? And they have given an example also person on chair 2 can see person on chair 1 and 3 but not 4. So 2 is sitting here corner so he can see one to this next corner and he can see three but he cannot see four because three will come in between. Similarly let us say if uh, six is sitting six can see five and seven, seven can see eight and six and so on. Okay. Similarly any person on the side of the wall can see the person seated on the neighboring corners of the wall. So let us say uh, three can see two and four, five can see six and four, okay nine can see only eight he cannot see anyone else. So this way. Now certain information is given to us. We will have to figure out who is sitting where and uh, accordingly uh, answer the questions. Okay, so uh, let's make a table like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now the first hint that is given to us is M seat number was thrice of M seat number. M could not see anyone. So M is equal to 3N. Okay. So 1, 3, if you put 1 and 3, uh, this is not the person. He could see both people. Right? If we take 2 and 6, this person can also see the neighbors. If we take 3 and 9, then also this person can see 8. But if we take 4 and 12, 4 and 12, 12 cannot see anyone. See, there is no one here and there is no one here. So that means these will be 4 and 12. So N will be 4 and M will be 12. That was the easiest to place. Okay, O was third to the right of M. So we can place O also. So now consider this since they are facing outside, the right side for any person. So if they are facing outside, the right side is basically in the clockwise direction. Okay. This is the right side and left side will be in the anti-clockwise direction. That we need to keep in mind. So if they are facing outside, this is N and O was third to the right of N. So 1, 2, 3. So O is at seat number 1. Alright. P could see Q and W. So we cannot determine from this statement where P could be uh, at any place. Okay. R was seated third to the left of S. So we cannot, this is a generic statement which cannot help us. Sum of seat numbers of S and Q was equal to the seat number of T. T could see, no, T could not see anybody. Okay. So S plus Q is T. And let us find out where could T be. So there are only few people who cannot see anybody. Like for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, even 9 can see this person. But 10, not, 10 cannot see anyone because there is no one here, there is no one here. Even 11 cannot see anyone because there is no one here, there is no one here. See, they, they cannot see the outsiders because these are walls. Okay. So, S plus Q would be either 10 or 11 because 12 is already filled. Okay. So, we will have to make cases and figure out what would be these numbers. U seat number was one third of V seat number. So, we will have to click for multiples of 3. So, if we put V is equal to 3, right? if we put V is equal to 3, then U will be 1. But 1 is already occupied by O. right? So, either it could be 2, 6 or 3, 9. Okay. So, U and this is accordingly V. Okay. One third, uh, uh, one third of V. So, these are two cases that we will make. And W was seated third to the left of U. Okay, so if we take u is equal to 2, then left side is this 1, 2, 3. So basically add 3. So if it is saying left, so add that number, right, it says subtract that number. So left of third to the left of u, so w will be 5 in this case and 6 in this case. Okay, so we get the case for w as well. 
Now let us connect the dots. Right? Let us see W is placed. Uh, now P could see Q and W. Now how can a person see two people? Right? So a person could see two people. That means these must be their neighbors. Okay. So P must the P must have Q and W as the neighbor. So P should be between Q and W. Any order. Okay. Now if W is five. Okay, so P cannot be 6, P can be, see, if you look at 5 and P can see this person, so P can be either 4 or 6, P cannot be uh, 4 because N is already 4, but uh, if you take this case, V is already 6, so this is already W and this is V and this is N, how can P see W, so this case is not possible. Okay, so this case is not possible. That means we get the seat of these three people. U is 3, V is 9, and W is 6. Okay, now P can see these two people. So W is 6. So P should be either 4 or 7. Okay, so if we put P is equal to 4, uh, sorry, this, this can be 5 or 7. If we put P, this is W. If we put this P and this is already N, so we cannot have P cannot see uh, Q in that case. So that means P cannot come this side, P should come this side. Okay, so P should be 7. And if P is here and P can see Q, so Q should be 8. Okay, so Q is 8 in this case. So P is 7 and Q is 8. Right now, we placed all these people, and there was a statement like this sum of seat numbers of S and Q is equal to 10 or 11. So, Q we have determined. So, S could be 2 or 3 because Q is 8, so S is 2 or 3. 3 is already figured out, 3 is U, so S will be 2. Right, so if S is 2, that means uh, T will be 10. Okay, if uh, this is done, R was. Uh, R was seated third to the left of S. Okay, R is third to the left of S. Left means addition of 3. Uh, so, S is 2. So, R will be 5. And the remaining person that is uh, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, P, W, X. So, X will be 11. Okay, so this is how we will uh, make the arrangement of these 12 people around the maze. Okay, so the first question asks, which chair number was X seated? So, X was seated in 11. What is the sum of seat numbers of W and U? So W is 6, U is 3, so total is 9. Who among the following was sitting at the middle of a wall uh, out of P, Q and T? P is 7, that is at a corner. Q is 8, 8 is again at a corner. N is 4, again corner, so it should be T. T is 10, that is at the center of a wall. Who among the following could N see? So N is seated at 4, N could see 3 and 5, 3 is U and 5 is R. So both he could see only U and R. Now notice he cannot see W because uh, this person will create clear hindrance, uh, create hindrance. That is already given that if a person is, uh, they could see the corner person only if there is a the, the wall is vacant, so uh, this person will create hindrance, so you could see only two people uh, from him. So that is the solution uh, to the set and the answers to the questions. Hope you like the solution, so please do like this video.